Hey guys. So I want to show you something. Uh, just about to do my evening workout, but I wanted to show you. I'm gonna talk about something real quick. Welcome to my nighttime office. I actually built this for my wife, but then lately she's been sitting on the comfortable chair upstairs, not in the hard chair down in the office. But anyway, um, a lot of stuff going on lately with life and filmmaking and such. And what kind of reminded me to do this was I saw the trailer finally for Juarez, the film we just shot last summer. It looks pretty awesome. They can't show it yet, they're still not far enough along. I tried to get them to let me take it and give a sneak peek, but nobody, just, you know, something about contracts and money and, you know, things like that. Anyway, so, uh, this uh, is my office again at night, and look what I have here. Do you know what this is, guys? See this? Yeah, I can't believe it either, for anybody who really knows me. This is a Windows machine. Um, and I've had it for a few weeks now, and this is a big deal. This is a long story, uh, because I ended up switching over to the Windows platform for work for a number of reasons. First off, Apple kind of leaving the professional world behind in a lot of ways uh, when it comes to their serious hardware. Uh, Yosemite having issues with that lately, and... Um, and then the biggest thing is just having my main work platform, uh, the Adobe products, being cross-platform. And it's the same experience, basically, from PC to Mac. And there's a lot of things I want to talk about when you're talking about switching. So there's some idiosyncrasies that maybe that people aren't aware of, you know, some small things you have to think about, workflow issues, things to getting used to, settings, and things like that, and things of that nature that I've had to get used to and find out solutions for. But uh, yeah, ended up switching to the uh, PC laptop. This is a Sager something, something, something. <laughs> I don't even know because uh, I've been out of the, the computer hardware game so long, I've just been buying Macs, just the top of the line Mac that I could get a hold of, just because I kind of knew that was what was gonna be the best for me. But nowadays, when you step back into the PC world, there's so many options, so many configurations. I was almost lost, and so I had to ask my good friends, uh, Matt, who always been my technical, uh, person. He knows, he's always known everything about stuff. Anyway, long story short, ended up with this gaming PC. Specs on it are 4 GHz, uh, 32 gigs of RAM. I have a terabyte SSD right now, hoping to get another one because uh, working off of SSDs and red files is so much nicer than uh, just regular uh, hard drives. So, anyway, um, well, Windows 8.1 will wait to upgrade to Windows 10 eventually when it comes out and see how stable it is. But 17-inch laptop. The reason I went with a laptop is because obviously here, here we are in this my home office. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work at night lately with uh, the family and stuff. I've been going in uh, later uh, to the, the the main office, working, and then when I come home, I make up those hours and things like that by working at home uh, later on when the kids are asleep. So I have some more time with them and stuff. But anyway, yeah. So I've just been living off a laptop the last probably about a month, and it's been. It's been nice having the speed being portable. Now this thing's not very portable, it's pretty heavy. And the things that you realize and appreciate about the whole Macintosh stuff is like their laptops, they make some nice laptops. This thing feels like a big chunk of plastic and it's really bendy and stuff. Um, but it's super fast and I don't really carry it around very much. It mostly lives here or at one of my clients places if I'm editing on site or at my office at the office. So there you go. So living off of Premiere, uh, After Effects, Mocha uh, Pro is cross-platform. I've had a few plugins that haven't crossed over, but otherwise that's what's going on in my life is just working out the the uh, switching between the Mac and the PC and uh, seeing Juarez, seeing that progress has been kind of nice and just been shooting a lot of commercial stuff lately. So anyway, we'll talk more about that. I've been, I've been having a hard time collecting all of the behind the scenes stuff that I've been shooting and actually getting things up, which I apologize for, but uh, yeah, we'll talk about some behind the scenes stuff coming up, uh, some more lighting stuff, but then also switching your hardware if you're thinking about that ever, if you've already done it. You know, uh, one of the biggest things, and I won't get into it right now, was not being able to utilize ProRes like I do on a regular workflow on the Mac, on the PC. You can, you can encode to ProRes, but there's no native ProRes export out of the Premiere or out of the Adobe products. So the way I use it, is all native files, R3Ds, whatever it comes out of the camera, you edit native, and then when you go to master it, or you go to go to an intermediate codec to then do an effect on it or something like that, you go to ProRes. So um, 
I was having a, I had to switch over to the, sorry, I'm, I'm all shaky, <laughs> holding the GH4 by hand. Uh, I would have gone to the Avid DNX HD, which is kind of a learning curve, but again, been successful with that. So anyway, that's my catch up for tonight, guys. I'm gonna go do my shoulder workout so I can, and I'll do another video when I'm not, I feel like I just keep being in tank tops every time I do a little video. There you go, I'll talk at you later and uh, have fun.